let me get this out the way for you NVIDIA fans. I gotta start putting content out. <laughs> Got videos done, by the way. Hello, viewers. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? Yeah. All right. NVIDIA 560 Linux driver, Linux driver beta has Wayland improvements. And, and default to open GPU kernel module. NVIDIA has released a fresh beta to get you testing all the latest features and fixes. So here's what's new in NVIDIA 560.28.03 beta driver beta for Linux. As NVIDIA currently as NVIDIA said currently, this is the first release that will use open GPU kernel module by default. As long as the GPU support supports this, which is an exciting step for more open source on system, plus various Wayland improvement. VRR for notebooks with the uh, open GPU kernel modules and various bug fixes. Says here uh, from the change log, here's the new addition in major. Update NVIDIA installer to select NVIDIA open GPU kernel module by default on system with GPU that support uh, both the proprietary and open kernel module. Add support for EGL KHR platform times 11 EGL extension platform XCB on Wayland. Add Pipewire backend NVF, NVFBC that allow it to work on the Wayland compositor that support uh, screencasting via XDG desktop portal. This new interface will be available through the upcoming Capture SDK release. Add support for multiple concurrent client of NVFBC direct capture. Add reporting of Vulkan information to NVIDIA setting control panel. Compl compiling NVIDIA settings from source new requires Vulkan headers files to be available. Support DRM KMX explicit synchronization via in fence FD mode setting pro uh, property. And then it says support VRR for waylaying on pre volt GPUs. Add support for variable refresh rate on notebooks with open kernel modules. Update GLX weight of uh, video sync SGI. To be more efficient, the reduced frame stutter in some KDE con configuration with GSP offload. Then it says, and then the various bug fixes. Fix a bug that caused GPU driver installation to fail when the system use a alternate implementation of the TR Unity, such as form the busy box or toy box project. Fix a bug that co could cause the wrong image format to be used for render pass image. Clear in Vulkan application when using a VKL image. Now VK image create with VK image create mutable format bit. And this could lead to rendering corruption as described in the issue as. as and then it says uh, fix multiple uh, issues that cause crashes or unexpected behavior when Recreating an NV, NVFBC capture session. Fix a bug that caused some display to appear multiple times in the NVIDIA settings display layout configuration page on system with multiple GPUs. And fix a bug that caused OpenGL triple buffer to behave like double buffering. And that's all the update for you NVIDIA fans. So, uh, you NVIDIA fans, you're good. <laughs> Nvidia got you covered, man. And um, Nvidia GeForce now, you guys, you guys got plenty of games. So any Nvidia news that I'll find, I'll let you know about it. So yeah, you guys have fun and enjoy. Nvidia got you covered. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris still Star Wars and Star Trek Nine. Bored. Dark Side. Go. Peace.